So we're just going to start on the first component of our combined tutorials exercise with SOLIDWORKS. First thing to note that uh, we've got one dimension missing here, which when you look at it doesn't really matter because it's we just want it just below this hole drill there. Um, as I've uh, mentioned with SOLIDWORKS, you want to try and build it the way you actually see it in reality. So in reality, I take this piece of material, a round bit of bar, take it in the machine shop, turn it round with a lathe, drill a hole in it, then get the milling machine, cut a hole that way, cut a hole this way with the milling machine. So this is what we're basically basing this idea of, uh, the way we're going to make it. So in this case, I'm going to go for the right plane because I'm going to build my object from this circle, so from the end view. So let's start with the right plane. And I'm going to draw a circle. Draw a circle. According to my drawing here, it is has a diameter of 120 millimeters or R60, radius of 60. And I'm going to do the circle in the center. Center circle. 47 millimeters diameter. Now I have my basic sketch, and if you look here, we've got a picture of the sketch in my little design tree. If I were to go exit sketch, all the uh, dimensions go away. I can't do anything to it until I go back here, right hand click, edit sketch, and all the numbers come back, all the dimensions I should say. Now, according to my drawing here, uh, we've done this circle here and we've done that circle there so we've done the 120 and the 37 we've now got to turn it into a rod so i'm going to make turn this into a feature or a three-dimensional object and i'm going to make it go back 210 millimeters just get this out of the way so on the either select the sketch directly or make sure in the sketch or if we had to exit the sketch select the sketch directly go to feature uh, in this case so you can see what's going on I'm just going to move it around to isometric so the sketch extruded base feature uh, and it was 210 so you can type it rather than clicking object so when we look back at our drawing, we've got here a rod, but it needs to put some cuts through it. So basically what we've done is made this solid bar. Now we're going to cut through. Uh, as I said, it doesn't say in the dimensions here how far to cut down, but it does say how far to cut across. Right, let's just get this one out of the way. So what we're going to do is select the plane, that we, the next plane that we're going to draw on, and this way we're going to select the front plane, space bar, normal to, so let's bring it around, and I'm going to do my first cut. Get to select top part, cut down, and on my drawing it says that is 67 millimeters wide, millimeters tick, so now I know exactly how big it is, and it's a little bit below center, and I'm just going to guess how much that is below center, if I wanted to I could see where the center is by making it see through, so it's below center, um, so now I've got that sketch, if I go exit sketch here, you'll see I've got a secondary sketch below the original sketch. All right, so feature sketch. Now I've got this new sketch that I just did. I'm going to feature it. So what I'm going to do again, bring it around so you can see what's going on. There's the sketch on that original plane that I had. So the front plane, it's drawn on that piece of paper. Now I'm going to extrude and cut that shape out of it. So select it. Feature, extruded cut, and it says I'm going to cut it that way. Well, I don't want you to cut that way. I want you to cut both ways through all both. So 
it. Now I've cut through that exactly as it says per the drawing. Uh, the next part is this little top cut. Let me just bring the drawing over again so you can see. So the next part got this little cut out here and it says that it is 18.5 mil down and a 6.5 mil across. And what that's suggesting is that it's even on both sides of this object. So both sides of this cut. So you could say uh, 67, uh, um, 210, sorry, minus 67. So whatever the marina is, minus 86.5 gives a number divided by two. So I'll show you how I'll go about doing that, where I can use SOLIDWORKS to calculate that for me. So again, I'm going to go back to my front plane. Now it says on my drawing it's 86.5 and down is 18.5. So let's do the down bit first. Smart to mention 18.5. Is 86.5. The problem is now that you don't know exactly where it's in the centre. So, a couple of ways we could have done that is we could have done the centre line. So, we need to draw it in the centre, but now our object is not drawn in the centre. Another way of doing it is if we select here center rectangle, we can do it as that, but then the depth potentially is wrong. So what I'm going to do is delete this. Not to mention. Eighty-six point five. What it's done then is it's moved across. And that means it's not even. Eighty-six point five. So it's that proves that what we've got here is not in the centre. So it's moved, so what, why it moved then is if I go make fixed, now it can't move, so now it will reference from the centre. So smart to mention. You can see it's evenly moved. What we can do is go trim entities, get rid of this part, trim to nearest, there's no nearest to trim to. Set because I'm trying to do that in here. So now it's even, but I just want to get the depth right. So I go smart to mention. And back to that was 18.5. It's moved in the wrong direction. So undo, go to here, fix. Feature, extrude the line through all both, and so now we have a completed object exactly to scale, uh, exactly as the as the drawing would suggest.